Stolen dogs rescued from horrible conditions, and tonight the woman accused of abusing them is free on bond. Hello, I'm Gerald Owens, and for David Crabtree. And I'm Deborah Morgan. The husky-like dogs were removed from a house on Civil Drive last month. They are now recovering while their former owner is charged with animal cruelty. WRL Sloan Heffernan is live at the Animal Protection Society, where the animals are being treated. And Sloan, how are the dogs doing? Well, you can see for yourself this evening, meet Ruby. This is one of the dogs that was confiscated. She may look good now, but it was a much different story three weeks ago where, as you mentioned, more than 30 dogs just like Ruby were taken out of a home and they were found crowded into crates and standing in their own waste. In fact, three of them have died since coming here. <laughs> If these dogs could talk, the story they would tell. When they first arrived, it was obvious that they were coming from a very bad situation. So bad, these dogs, more than two dozen Husky and Malamutes, were confiscated from their owner. They were covered in urine and feces. And they were very, very thin. The dog's owner, Sandra Leto, faces animal cruelty charges. Deputies say they discovered the dogs at the owner's Durham County home after being called about two dogs roaming free in the neighborhood. No one answered the door when we knocked. Deputies say they noticed a strong smell of urine and feces coming from the home when they arrived. They say they discovered 31 dogs living in crowded and unsanitary conditions. It's my understanding that many of them were living in, in small, cramped crates. The director of the Durham County Animal Shelter says they are working with Husky and Malamute rescues to help care for these dogs. Because many of them are special needs and they're going to need a lot of care and rehabilitation. After they receive the care they need, these dogs will be put up for adoption. Animal control experts hope their story will have a happy ending. And Ruby is doing really well, but a lot of these dogs came in with broken teeth, and the uh, director of the animal shelter said a lot of that can be caused from chewing on the bars of the crate. A lot of them also had problems with their paws. Ruby's looking pretty good, but they said a lot of them had something called urine scald, and they get that from standing in their own urine. So Ruby is doing well, but the others are still on the road to recovery, and uh, the owner of these dogs, she has been charged with more than two dozen counts of cruelty to animals and if you would like to find out more information about these dogs and when they might be available for adoption you can con contact the durham county animal shelter hopefully we'll hear more stories like ruby's thanks sloan heffernan live in durham